Procreate has gone through a few different versions of their text tool and there are a lot of different options. So if you're brand new to Procreate, here's how to use the text tool without losing your mind. Once you have your new canvas, you can add text by hitting the wrench. Under the add category, just hit add text. And you can either type out text here or you can scribble this out with your stylus and write whatever you want. And it'll convert it right to typable text. I need a space right here so I can put my cursor right here. If I hit this little icon down here, I can get more options. And if I want a keyboard, I can hit the keyboard and it will bring up a mini keyboard and I can hit the space right there. Or if I want a larger keyboard, I can hit the double A and then hit the keyboard over here and then I have a larger keyboard and I can just tap where I want my cursor and continue writing. Once you have your text right there, if you wanna change the font, you need to make sure that your cursor is no longer blinking. So if I just hit my selection tool up there and then deselect, now I can just tap on my text box, hit the double A down here and this brings up all of my options. So I can scroll through and change the type of font that I have. With whatever font that you choose, you'll have different style options. For the font Georgia, I have a regular and italic, bold and bold italic style option. I can change the size of my text. If my text gets too large for my canvas and I need to change the size of my text box, if I just zoom out of my canvas, grab one of these nodes from the text box and slide it over, I can expand the text box and then I can reposition my text by tapping in the center of that text box and moving the text over. This is still too large for my canvas, so I'm going to size it down just a smidge and then reposition it. When it comes to kerning and tracking, typographically speaking, kerning is the space relationship between two letters Letters, whereas tracking is the uniform space relationship between all letters. So if I want to change the space between all the letters at once, I would change my tracking setting. If I want to change the space relationship between two individual letters, like between the E and the L, I would tap on my text box, put in my cursor, and then adjust the kerning from there. I have my blinking cursor right now within my text, so I need to get rid of that before I can make any further adjustments in this panel. So I can tap outside of it and then tap on the text box again, hit the double A and reaccess these options. The letting is your space between the lines of text, so I can increase or decrease that. Baseline is exactly what it sounds like it is. It's the base line on which all of the letters sit. So if I move this up or down, I change that for both lines. I never change the opacity settings within my text settings because it's so much easier if you just do it in your layer settings and you can access that and change it so much faster than having to come back into this panel. I have center aligned text right now, but I can change it to left aligned, right aligned, and justified. I can add an underline by hitting this icon, but for some reason this version seems to be a little glitchy with that. This icon gives me an outline of my text. If I hit this icon, it'll give me vertical text, and if you don't want vertical text and deselect it, it's always going to move your text off of where you had it previously, so remember to just tap in the center of that text box and bring it back down and into your canvas. And then finally, this icon right here just means you can convert this to all caps. So I'll toggle that off and I'll hit done. Just a couple more things to let you know about. I mentioned not using the opacity setting in the bottom panel. Over here, you would hit the little N and then drag this opacity slider. So you have direct access to it whenever you want to. You don't have to worry about tapping into this and then going into that bottom panel. If you'd like to edit this further, there's a couple ways you can do that. The long way would be tapping on the layer thumbnail and choosing edit text, and then you get your options down here, and then you can go from there. A quicker way to do it would be, as long as you have this layer selected, you can just tap on it, and the text box is selected. I can hit the double A, which is located right here, and that brings up my options again. If I want to recolor my text, as long as you have that layer selected, this A denotes typable text or editable text, as long as this is selected, I can come into my color palette and I can change it to any color I want just by tapping the color. So I can preview them immediately without having to enter any specific text settings. If you're brand new to Procreate and looking to pick up more tips just like these ones, head on over to every-tuesday.com 5x for my free Procreate for Beginners course. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time.